Hey everybody, it's Jeff I'm out here in my shop and I am really excited today because I finally, 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 finally have in my possession something brand new, highly innovative, really cool. I've been, I've been anticipating this for a while now. I knew it's been on the way and I've had to keep my mouth shut, which is very difficult for me, um, but it's finally here. We're finally ready to, to talk and share this, this product, and it is the brand new Nova Woodworking Pro Tech line of wood turning chucks. Now this is, uh, I've, I've, I've got one, I've got, uh, I've got one of the uh, chuck bundle sets with me right now. We're going to open it up, check things out. I want to tell you all of the cool features. I want to turn a couple of things if I have the time. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really, really excited because um, this one is super innovative. Uh, this is where, this is where Nova really shows that they are head and shoulders above the rest and and I, I cannot begin to describe how excited I am to be part of this particular product release. So um, first and foremost the only prep work that I've done on this is I've cleaned off some of the shipping oil and I installed a couple of the jaws uh, just so that s some of that preliminary stuff was handled. But let's uh, Let's go ahead and get to this, uh, you know, and uh, the, the quality, in my opinion, is everything that you have come to expect from Nova and more um, well thought out product, well thought out design, uh, a lot of things that are really more intuitive than, than we've seen before. And uh, Nova, you know Nova, right? These guys. All right, first and foremost. It comes with a towel. I've got uh, I've got this really nice microfiber towel. Uh, this will allow me to wipe off all of my turning debris and uh, wrap up and store my chuck in in a nice manner. Um, does it contribute to the performance of the chuck? No, but it is. It's definitely a nice touch, and uh, I. I I really like the idea of being able to protect this thing because uh, I'm, I'm pretty darn pleased with the overall quality. So nice little microfiber towel that you can use to keep your chucks clean and, and wrap this one up and keep it stored and protect it. Um, going into the box, like I said, I've got uh, one of the Supernova 2 Pro Tech Chuck Bundles. So this one comes with the standard 50 millimeter jaws, just like all of the Nova Chucks, except, and we'll get to that in a minute, uh, it also has the um, 100 millimeter jaws as well as the 130 millimeter jaws. So I can use my brand new Supernova 2 Protect Chuck to turn a wide range of things going from small to standard sizes up to relatively large sizes as well. And, and I'm, I'm really happy about that. Um, these jaws, the, the 130 mil and the 100 mil are the same standard high quality jaws that you've come to expect from Nova. Um, no, no changes to those, no changes necessary. These jaws, the 50 millimeter jaws. We'll talk about that in just a minute. Let's talk about what else comes in the box. Uh, we've got instructions. Um, I normally don't read them. I'm going to, we'll see, <laughs> we'll see. Uh, norm this is where I normally take the instructions and throw them over my shoulder, but I'm probably gonna go ahead and look through that just because there's usually some cool information that I'm not aware of hidden in the instruction print. So we're gonna set this aside and I'll get to that, uh, I'll get to that later on, on my own. Um, we've got, uh, we've got, T-handle wrench, it has the um, multi-position head, so I can use this and, and tighten my chuck from almost any angle. It doesn't matter what I've got on, on the chuck work-wise. I'm going to be able to get in here and, and use this thing to tighten and loosen. Um, standard worm screw, just like uh, Nova always provides. Wonderful little, bit of, wonderful little piece of kit right there. Um, as a bolt turner, I use worm screws an enormous amount. I, I find them absolutely wonderful and I love the quality of the Nova screws. Um, you'll know I, you know I use these an enormous amount. Um, we've got the assorted hardware, so uh, the necessary um, Allen wrenches, or hex keys, whatever you want to call them, chuck screws, which are new. Let's see if I can't show you. This is a new star-headed screw, so it's not a standard 
hex screw. It's a six point star headed screw and it the chuck includes a six point star headed T-wrench. Kind of hard to see on the camera. It's a little small. Um, but the advantage that this gives me is it's much more of a positive contact between the wrench and the screw head, which means I can snug my jaws very securely without worrying about stripping things out, like sometimes happens with that standard Allen wrench or hex key. I'm not worried about damaging the star heads um, when doing other build projects. I have found that the, the star headed screws uh, are, be, become a little bit more secure because you've got a bit more positive force when tightening. And, and I think that's really a, a great upgrade for this, particular, uh, for this particular model of chuck. I think that's going to be a positive. Now, I want to talk about the chuck jaws because this... This is exciting. The standard 50 millimeter Nova chuck jaws, the, the original versions, the old versions, um, did not have a, a true dovetail on the inside. They had a little, a little pointy beak at the end. You could do a straight tenon, you could do a dovetail tenon. Uh, but I, I always felt that there was room for improvement on that as far as those base jaws go. And they stepped up on this one, uh, the new Protec jaws are fantastic. What we have is we actually have a true dovetail. So I'm not going to be getting involved in arguments on Facebook anymore or on online anymore um, over whether or not you need to use a dovetail when you're working with the standard Nova Jaws because the brand new Protec standard Nova Jaws have a dovetail. That makes me happy. Uh, it's about a quarter inch long, which is really all you need for most of your projects when you're holding on that two inch set of jaws. Uh, dovetail inside, dovetail outside, just like always. Cool thing is, because they've added that dovetail, the jaws themselves are now a little bit thicker. A little bit thicker, a little bit heavier, a little bit more sturdy. Really pleased with that. The other thing is, and let me hold this up to the camera a little bit more, you can see right there, are serrations. You can use the standard 50 millimeter Protec jaws as spigot jaws that you can have a, a longer straight tenon if that's what your project requires. And you can do that because you've got the serrations deep within the jaw as well as that top ring which lines up with those serrations. You can see that on this side profile, there's my serrations down in the down in the jaw. There is the top edge of my dovetail that forms a straight line going straight down. I can work with a straight sided tenon with these jaws as well as make a dovetail, as well as hold in expansion mode by utilizing that dovetail on the outside. Um, there's also a little step on the outside, and I, th I think that's kind of important. One, it provides more metal where those serrated jaws are. It provides more support behind the jaw face itself. There's more material, more metal on that shoulder. Like I said, thicker and heavier. Uh, but the advantage that that brings is the turner knows where to stop their internal recess. They know how deep they can go. And uh, that is going to, I think, I re really think that's going to help reduce some of the learning curve on, on newer turners as they're trying to find their way with tenons and recesses. They, they know how deep they need to go because there's actually a stopping point. All right. And just a, just a, a brilliant little idea that, that I didn't even that I didn't even consider, but uh, I find it I find it excellent for it to be there. I think it's going to be tremendously helpful. All right, so like I said, I've got uh, three of the jaws on. I've cleaned off the uh, shipping oil, so let's get this chuck out. Let's get the last jaw on. Get my box out of the way. I'll turn it around, and we can work on this as the platform. But here is my Nova. Supernova 2 Protect Chuck. And uh, this, this chuck line comes in the Supernova 2 as well as the G3. Um, you can get them as just uh, standalone chucks. You can get them in a variety of chuck bundles, um, just like you've always been doing with, with the, 
the uh, original lines of chucks. The Protec line is now being offered in a number of different configurations, shapes, sizes, things of that nature. Uh, the Supernova 2 one, this one happens to be an insert chuck, so I grabbed one of my inch and a quarter by eight inserts. I've already got that seated and locked down. Um, and well, let's let's start from the back. Let's let's start from the back. Uh, new with this chuck is they've actually changed the color of the back plate. Uh, they've made it red, which obviously goes along with the Nova logo branding. Um, but it makes it a little bit more. It makes it not a little bit more. It makes it a lot more easier to see. Uh, I can see the index points on the chuck. Um, depending on what I'm doing as far as embellishing or, or laying out projects. If I need indexing, obviously I, I can index with my lathe, some people can't, um, but having the back plate uh, with the indexing points can allow you to do a whole bunch of indexing without, uh, without adding a bunch of extra hardware material to your lathe setup to begin with. Uh, because it's red and not black anymore, it's easier to see. It's going to be a lot easier to work with because of that color change, and it looks cool. So, good props for Nova on that one. Um, standard construction all around. Uh, the advantage of having insert style chucks is these chucks can be adapted to almost any lathe, new, old, otherwise, that's currently out there in the wood turning world simply by changing out that insert. And, and again, for me, uh, I'm running a Nova Galaxy lathe. I've got an inch and a quarter by eight spindle, so I've got the inch and a quarter by eight insert in mine. Um, Jeff's pro tip, always use the set screw on your insert. Tighten it down, put that set screw in there, make sure you use one of those little red fiber washers put it down in the in the hole before you install your set screw tighten it down and that that uh, insert will never come loose if you use that little red fiber washer just jeff's pro tip all right moving up the outside of the chuck all right uh, okay there's there's maybe a little of the shipping oil still on there or it's on my hands i want you to see it as shiny and as pretty as possible The plating. Plating has really got my attention. Um, it is very shiny. It is very pretty. It is very cool looking. And the main reason why is because it's nickel. It's nickel plating. Um, this will prevent a lot, of, a lot of potential corrosion. It will minimize or eliminate rusting because it's nickel. Nickel is a non-corrosive material. Uh, the plating on here, because it's that nickel, um, if you get into the metallurgy, it's a little bit softer than some, but because of that, it's not as likely to chip because it's not brittle. Uh, the cool thing, though, is because you've got this plating on here, when you have the seasonal changes in your shop where, you've, where all of your machines are covered in condensation, your chucks are not going to rust. Your, your new Protec chucks are not going to rust because of that plating. That's a good thing. Uh, the other thing is, um, it's it's cool looking. It's super shiny. Everything is laser etched. So laser etched logo right there. It's not, it's it's uh, more durable because it's laser engraved. And, um, and yeah, I'm, I'm really pleased with the finish, uh, the overall finish of the chuck. Uh, I'm, I'm going to have to put it on the lathe and try it out and get it full of color like I normally do just to see how well it, it cleans off. But uh, in, in my understanding, this nickel plating is going to work a whole lot better than a lot of the other plating processes out there. So that's that's super cool. I'm really pleased to see that. All right. Now I've got my uh, I've got three of my jaws on. Uh, just like always, the sliders themselves are numbered. See that right there. The jaws themselves, as always, are numbered. But the cool thing is, let's take this one that's loose, and I'll hold it up to the camera. If you can see that, it's got the, the Nova logo on there. It's got the jaw number on there. So this one's number four. It also has the part number, the SKU number, for this particular set of jaws. So if a, a, P, a jaw ever goes renegade in your shop and you need a replacement, you know what the SKU number is to get whatever you, it is that you need. And uh, I didn't know that they were going to do that. 
but that's actually a really good idea that all of your jaws are are fully marked fully identified um, not only tells you where to put them on the jaw but it tells you what the uh, part number is in case you need to get more or find a replacement because you drop something it, it, it happens on occasion all right uh, we've got the jaw ready to go in I've got my little six point screws and my six point wrench Put them in loosely, thusly, and, and I will give a tighten. Now I've already installed my other jaws, but I want to go ahead and snug everybody up. So I'm going to do the internal ring first, just like so. And then I'm going to do the outside ring of screws as well. And uh, I really, I really like the way this is feeling when I tighten. It's very snug. It's very secure. It's not slipping like I sometimes have with a standard hex key. And uh, overall, I'm pretty pleased. You know, it just, it looks like a cool piece of equipment. And I am really excited about getting the opportunity to put this on the lathe, put a piece of wood in it, and make some shavings. So let's do that next.